Hi, welcome to tutorial number 19 for CSCI 130 Introduction to Programming here at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss from chapter 12 the select case statement for multiple selection. We're going to work with some properties from text boxes and we're going to introduce uh, list boxes. Okay. Um, in our previous tutorials we have already an example of multiple uh, selection I think we were calling that that we got a multiple decision making in which we were doing an example like the one that we that they present in section 12.2 in your textbook uh, like in this case let, let's see that if we said okay if the student got a letter a grade letter grade of A then display on a given label excellent if that's a B very good a C good uh, a D then display poor and so on um, then we we know this we already did the if else if statement and with the else and, and if so there is nothing wrong with this the the what what we're presenting in this chapter is that we have also the select case so what is here and here it represents the same but uh it's just trying to simplify what we're typing with cases so here we said okay select case and then the gray is going to be cases so if we go back again, here we're comparing, is gray A, is a gray B, is Z, is D, is F. I mean, that's, that's nothing wrong. It is okay. Most people use it in that way. But when we see that, we say, hey, there are some cases for A. Then we got this statement that is doing the same. So we said in case A is A or B or C or D, do the following. Look at that the last case it says else. That means something else. That means it wasn't an A, a B, a C, a D, or a F. Then display that text. So that's what we are introducing in this chapter. Now I'm gonna uh, create an application in Visual Basic in which I'm gonna show you what is the idea of list boxes, which is basically a collection of items. So we're gonna be able to manipulate some items there, and then uh, we're gonna also illustrate two properties from text boxes the ones that are for a password uh, character and the enable property in text boxes so now I'm going into Visual Basic I already have an application there and what I'm gonna do is look for a list box I'm gonna drop the list box over here I'm gonna change the title of my form and I'm gonna call this uh, um, gonna call it list boxes. Well, list box exercise. Okay, um, so I got a list box over here, and um, so I say that the list box is gonna be a collection of items. So I'm gonna also have a text box right here and I'm gonna get items from I'm gonna get the items from here so I'm gonna get a label here and I'm gonna change the text and I'm gonna call this item okay and so here I'm gonna type an item that I want to be inserted into the list box and I'm gonna have a button to execute that so I'm gonna call that button insert item okay so now we're gonna double click on the button and what I want is to add an item so I'm gonna say list box one dot items so it's a set of items what is it that I want to do with items then I'm gonna say dot uh, add and then in parentheses I need to provide an item so for example, if I put the text high, the, the string high, let's let's check F I. 
so I'm inserting high you see there but it's not it's not reading from the text box it's not it's not what I want but okay it's inserting the same thing every time that I click it sets the item high look at how I have that multiple times okay so I'm gonna close this and say well I just I don't want just high I want to be able to insert anything that I can anything that I type on my text box and I'm gonna say text box one dot text okay so now let's press F5 again now for example if I say hello insert item so now hello is here now if I change the text and I say uh, Kenosha insert item Kenosha uh, by insert spy okay now when we got items we make a distinction of each one of the items with what we're going to call an index so the item that is right here at the top is the one with index zero that's that means it's my first item the second one is one the third one is two so i mean they are not labeling that one two three but zero one two so if i have another item let's say that i have two that will be my uh, item with the index zero how can that be helpful well i can specify then a given position so i'm gonna call that index so i'm gonna have another label i'm gonna call that index a text box uh, where are you here yeah. text box right there so now I'm going to specify a position. So here, instead of saying add, I'm going to change add for insert. Now insert needs two parameters. I need a numerical value that comes from my text box two dot text comma. Okay. So now let's see what I did. I got I changed the add for insert. Well, what what is the difference? Well, the difference is that now I'm reading from text box to a numerical value, which is going to determine the position. And then I'm going to insert an item that is in text box 1. Okay, so press F5. Let's see the difference. So, so far I have nothing. Then I need to specify, look, it's 0, it says position. I want the uh, 1. So insert, it goes there. Then uh, I want 2 to be at the index 0 so now insert item there so I got one at 0 and 1 let's see that I want to have now 3 and 3 I want it at position the second position then I'm gonna set I want it at 1 so it should be between the 2 and the 1 so insert so look at how 3 is between the 2 and the 1 so if I put 4 I say 1 then it's going to be 2 4 3 and 1 you see that now I'm going to put this at uh, so this is 0 1 2 3 so I'm going to put it on 3 my 5 okay so if I have the index then I'm able to do the manipulation of the uh, um, position in which I want it to be inserted now the last thing that I want to practice that they also introduce is they we, we are able to do some manipulation with the text boxes so I'm gonna close this and this is what they have so we're gonna select this and I'm gonna go and look for the property that says uh, pass let me see if I find it password char so here I'm gonna um, type for example uh, star and every time that I type a character it will show the star card so I'm gonna press F5 so now I'm gonna type hello but did you see that I don't see the hello I see uh, uh, stars on zero then insert 
and then I see the hello even though it's a bunch of stars it's still in the uh, property for the text is still the hello it's just that I don't see it so on here I'm gonna be able to change um, for whatever character so let's say that I want an A so if I type F5 again and then I'm gonna say bye bye Okay, guy, I got a bunch of A's. I want that on zero. Insert item, and then it says bye bye. Okay, so now the last thing that I want to show you from for today is the enable. Here it says true. I'm gonna change that to false. Now we press F5. Now because this is with false, I'm not able to. Uh, do anything I mean this is disabled I mean I'm not able to change the text the text property in the text box okay this is this is um, these are the topics that are discussed in chapter in, in, in this chapter so I will show you how to post the program the that you need for for this session so I will do that on the next tutorial thank you